Chechnya has never had a king, but Ramzan Kadyrov comes close. He runs this republic like a personal fiefdom. Kadyrov was a Chechen rebel who switched sides. The Kremlin has relied on his army to quell an Islamist insurgency, and it's been counting on Ramzan to rebuild Chechnya. This was the capital, Grozny, after two wars. The UN described it as the most destroyed city on earth. Under Kadyrov, Grozny has risen again, with the help of billions of dollars of aid from Moscow. There are new roads, beauty salons, skyscrapers, a new football stadium too, and guess who's honorary president of the local team? Ramzan Kadyrov has been in power in Chechnya for nearly a decade. His supporters say that in that time, he's transformed this republic from a battleground into one of the most stable parts of the North Caucasus. But that stability is fragile. While we were in Grozny, a car bomb killed a policeman. The security forces didn't want us to film this. And there are questions about Ramzan himself. The British intelligence agency, MI5, has said in court papers it considers Chechnya's leader responsible for the assassination of political opponents. They say that Kadyrov is a bandit. If there's an incident in Europe, they say Kadyrov's behind it. If someone's cow dies, Kadyrov's to blame. If a chicken is not laying eggs, it's Kadyrov's fault. They're prepared to do anything to blacken Kadyrov's name and tell the world that Kadyrov is a bad person. I tell them, prove it. There are claims that you have prepared hit lists of your opponents. <laughs> the person who makes this claim is schizophrenic. I swear to Allah, that idea would never come to my mind. Ramzan Kadyrov has also been promoting what he calls traditional Islam. He wants to make Chechnya the Islamic heart of Russia. So he's built one of the largest mosques in Europe. There's no alcohol anymore in the shops and a much stricter dress code for women. Refusal to follow it can have consequences. This woman told us that in the past she'd been fired at with a paintball gun for not wearing a headscarf. Fearing reprisals, she asked us to hide her identity. Today, clerics are going into schools and telling six-year-old boys to control their sisters. They tell them that if their sisters won't wear headscarves, then the boys will be held responsible and punished by God. Paradise lies at the feet of the mother. So how can a Chechen, a Muslim, violate the rights of women? I love my mother, my wife, my sisters. I honor and respect them. Women are the keepers of the family. All these allegations have been dreamt up. Kadyrov's Chechnya is the strangest mix. It's still part of Russia, but it feels like it's drifting further from Moscow. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Grozny.